Now that we're ready to go ahead and create our nesting box, the next thing we need to do is to sign into our Tinkercad account. Once we're in our Tinkercad account, we're gonna go over and select create a new design. Now, once you select a new design, the next thing we need to do is go ahead and give this a name. So in that top left corner, we'll see that we get this weird name up here. We're just gonna go ahead and click on that and we can go ahead and type in nesting box so that we know how to identify our file. From here, we need to go ahead and edit our work plane. Right now, by default, everything is set to millimeters. So we're gonna go in that bottom right corner, select edit grid, change my millimeters over to inches and select update grid. Now for this part of our tutorial, we're gonna look at how to create the main house. And the main house is made up of basically two distinct shapes. We're gonna be using a solid box and we're gonna be using a striped box. When we combine those two together, we should be able to get the main building or main house for our nesting box. So the first thing we need to do is to create a solid object that has a width and depth of two inches, as well as a height of three inches. So we're gonna do that by grabbing this red box and bringing it into our screen, drop it on the work plane. And then from here, we're gonna go ahead and click that bottom right corner and we're gonna change the width to two inches and we can go ahead and change the depth to two inches as well. From here, we'll go ahead and click on the front view of our cube and we can go ahead and click right on that white box up at the top. That's gonna allow me to change the height and that height is gonna be set to three inches. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and click on my home button and we can rotate around and we can see that now we have definitely a different shape than what we began with. We went ahead and just increased that width and depth to two inches as well as the height to three. Now the next step is to create basically an opening in the middle of this box that goes from the top down towards the bottom. We don't want it going all the way through, just a part of the way, just enough so that the birds can get in and it has a floor that they can stand on. So in order to do this, we're gonna go ahead and utilize this striped box. So we can go ahead and click on that striped box and bring it in. And from here, we're gonna need to make some dimension changes here. So just as we did with that solid box, we're gonna go ahead and click on that bottom right corner and we're gonna give the width of this shape to be 1.2 inches. The depth will also be 1.2 inches. And again, I'm gonna to go to that front view, click on that box and change the height to be 2.6. So what you should have noticed is that we've gone ahead and basically created a wall thickness of 0.4 inches, which means once we hollow out that solid box, each of those walls that we're gonna see is gonna be four tenths of an inch. So now that we have our two shapes, the next step is to go ahead and align them. Now there are multiple ways that we can do this, but one of the easiest ways to go ahead and align the top edges of our shapes is to use the align tool. So as you can see, if we take a look and rotate this just a little bit, obviously our stripe box is not quite as tall as the solid but we need that top edge of the solid and of the stripe box to be aligned. So we're gonna do that by going to a front view and drawing a box around both shapes. That will allow you to access your toolbar and then have the align tool located on it. Go ahead and select the align tool and what we'll notice is we have three dots that pop up on the right hand side. This will align your shape in a vertical manner. So if I click this bottom dot, our bottom edges will be aligned. The center dot, we will now be aligned based off of center. And the one that we want, we want that top dot, which is now going to align the top edges of our shape. So you'll now notice that if we group these together, we'll have a hole going down from the top, but we'll still have some material underneath here for the flooring of our nesting box. Now that we have the top aligned, the next step is to go ahead and take that strike box and place it in the middle of the solid box. So I'm gonna go ahead and click off on the work plane. And from there, I'm gonna go ahead and click back onto that stripe box and using my arrow keys, I'm just gonna go ahead and tab that guy over until I can get it somewhere in the center. Now, once you think you have it in the center, make sure you click on top, double check just to make sure everything looks good. It looks like it's perfectly centered in the middle. And now we should be ready to go ahead and group these two guys together. So in order to get that hole to actually appear, we're gonna go ahead and draw another box around both of those shapes that will select both of your objects. And then from there, we're just gonna go up to our group, select the group, 
And what you will notice is that that stripe box should now be removed from the solid object. So here you've now created the main house of your nesting box and you're ready to move on to creating the roof.